Hi, my name is Paul Kautza. I'm the Director of Education for TDWI, and we're here at our World Conference in Las Vegas. I'm proud to be joined by Chris Krishnan, who is the CEO of Sixth Sense Advisors. Chris, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Paul. Uh, Chris, you and I have been working together for a lot of years in mm -hmm. uh, doing, doing a lot of things in, in different areas, and all of a sudden, all this big data stuff comes around, and we all look for the, the hypes and the fads and what's going to stick and what's going to go, and right. I, think, uh, I think big data is here for a while. What do you think? <laughs> Absolutely, yes. I think, um, in fact, the most recent report by Gartner says that we've reached the trough of disillusionment, and what the report meant was that the hype cycle has finally subsided, and people are beginning to realize what big data is, and they're ingesting it now, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it's like after the tidal wave, now people are beginning to sit back and think about how do I bring this in, what does this mean to me, how does this affect me? So I think it's the next wave of innovation, if you will, and from a data warehouse perspective, you now have so much more data, mm -hmm. so much more analytics, so much more insights that you can run. Mm -hmm. So it's not the, the, the closure of data warehouse, it's actually the extension of the data warehouse. Yes, it's actually the, the reboot of the data warehouse, if you will. It will be the right term to use at this point. And, and we've, been, we've been following this now for the last couple of years, and you've been uh, doing several classes for me at the different conferences, mm -hmm. and we've had uh, a couple of themed conferences around big data. We've got another one coming up in Chicago, yes. uh, May, 5th, May 5th through 10th on big data, mm -hmm. and then you're also going to be teaching for me in Toronto at the symposium, I think on June 17th, 18th, and 19th. Yes. Um, one of the classes, though, I wanted to talk about today and, and, and talk about a little about what we're doing together at TDWI is uh, your class around the big data maturity model. I mean, TWI yes. years ago put out the BI maturity model and mm -hmm. went through that whole process. And you've been working with us for a while now um, to, to try to figure out how we extend that to big data Correct. and actually take a full new set, new fresh look at how we're doing that. And it, the genesis of your class, uh, you know, came up with the idea of going through that, but the genesis of the class and how those two fit together. So you want to take a couple of minutes and just tell us about, uh, about what's happening Absolutely. in that space and what you're, what you're doing with your course? Absolutely. So the, the goal of the course, the, like the name says, is big data maturity model, right? How do, mm -hmm. you, how do you as an organization assess big data? And the attendees at our conferences have traditionally expressed interest in being able to figure out you know, where they are in their journey in BI maturity, mm -hmm. And when it comes to big data, the confusion is even more profound, yes. right? You have noise coming out every two minutes from the woodworks, whether it is from the Silicon Valley or from Boston, or whether it is from Austin, you have every single minute on the social media, there is constant chatter and constant blather, if you will, mm -hmm. right? So the goal of this maturity model is to take the attendees and the organizations that come through a journey where they can understand how significantly big data will differentiate their thought process in terms of maturity. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we spoke about this, um, I think, you know, earlier this morning, transactional modeling and behavior versus behavior modeling and transactions, right? It's two different ways. Previously, in the BI space, we were used to measuring customers by transactions and then identifying who the customers were. Mm -hmm. In the big data world, we will measure the impact of the customer and the competition by behaviors first and then look at what was the impact on the transactions. So it's kind of like you're flipping the mm -hmm. you know, chart and you're looking, inverting the model a bit. So the course would actually take you through different stages of maturity, right? I mean, not only would it look at maturity from a technology perspective, it's not about Hadoop or no Hadoop or Cassandra or NoSQL, it is about what do you want to do with this you know, infrastructure? How do you apply techniques to it? What is the data scientist organization? What is the funding the sponsorship, and then what is the adoption you will need. So there's multiple layers, if you will, that would need to be assessed for an mm -hmm. organization. And the course actually would help the attendees think through those facets, right? It's not about, it's not a survey, it's not a, it's not a course that gives you the, uh, you know, toolkit to go and do this yourself, but rather it helps you to think it helps right. you kind of, kind of frame the problem. Frame the problem. Frame the problem, put, put it, organize it, put it in, in sections so Precisely. you know what you're going to go after. Precisely. And then once you're ready through the course and you understand what you need to do, then you can actually come back and take the survey itself. And that's, and that's another part. That's one we're actively working with you on is actually developing 
the benchmark, if you will, the benchmark mm -hmm. survey, so that organizations can take can take the benchmark survey, see where they fit on the on the spectrum, yes. and where where will they fit, understand what what the recommendations for next steps that they should do to take that, and, they, and we're trying to figure out how we can make make it put it together and do it longitudinally yes. and things like that. So yes. so you've been instrumental in, in working with us on that, and I think I think it's, it's going pretty well. Is it, you? You want anything else you want to say about about that piece? Sure. Um, so in short, the survey would be announced, I think, at our conference in May. Right? It's going to be available mm -hmm. sometime then. Uh, the goal of this survey that we're building, called as, a, as the big data maturity model benchmark survey. I mean, right now this is the name and it's long. So we're, we're trying to work with <laughs> the folks in marketing to come up with a better name for it, probably. But the goal of this uh, benchmark model is to be able to take a stance on what is big data maturity. There is nothing like this available in the industry. And there is a lot of noise where, I mean, it, it irritates me to no end when I hear people saying the data warehouse is dead, BI is dead. I mean, nothing yeah. is ever dead. Like, nothing is ever going away. It's not like, mm -hmm. you know, you crumple a piece of paper and throw it out of the window and say, now I'm ready to start afresh. Mm -hmm. So obviously, the, what we want to do is we want to put a stake in the ground to say, okay, when you talk big data, here is what you're talking about. Right. And we want to put a box around it as a framework and help companies to do this self-assessment right, in a rubric-based model, which is what mm -hmm. you, know, you and, and a few others in, the com in, in TDWI have been instrumental in guiding us through. And the rubric will actually come back and tell you where you stand and what you would need to do from where you stand if you would want to go to the next stage or what are some of the things that you would need to do in a checklist manner in the current stage mm -hmm. in order to become self-sufficient. Right? So we address things like skills, we address things like data science. So there's a number of touch points that we're going to bring in this survey, which is going to be really useful. And we firmly believe that this is a first of the kind in the industry. I mean, there are a number of people talking about things, but I think this is a the real first of the kind pervasive survey and benchmark tool that's going to be available. So I'm really excited about mm -hmm. it. Yeah, and we're excited about it as well. And I think uh, I think there's a number of, of organizations that we've we've kind of bro broached the idea with them, and that, mm -hmm. that are very excited as well. And I look forward to putting that together and 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 watching that grow and watching organizations mature Absolutely. through the big data cycle. So um, if you're interested in finding out more about uh, about big data, about the big data maturity, um, join us in Chicago uh, for our conference May 10th, 5th through 10th, or in Toronto in June 17th yeah, exactly. through 19th. So Krish, thank you very much for. Uh, for joining me today, and uh, I'm Paul Katza with the Data Warehousing Institute, and hope to see you in Chicago or Toronto. Thank you. Yep. Thank you.